Well, it must be a week before Halloween because how he's here. Um, this is what he normally looks like. The rest of the year, it's all makeup, right? Before my first cup of coffee in the morning, yeah. That's Pretty much. Like. <laughs> Howie Keibel, community manager for Yelp, who probably have, has one of the cooler jobs in town. He gets to do this and have some fun. And be on cool shows like The Morning Brew. <laughs> so, thanks. And we got the, the gentleman from McCall's out here today. What do you see this video you guys have made? McCall's really gets into this Halloween thing. We do. We do. That is our livelihood out there at the pumpkin patch. Oh, this is, this is wonderful. Yeah. Uh, in fact, let's just show it. Let's... All right. Let's kick this thing off with a uh, zombie video from McCall's yeah. haunted farm. That is very scary. <laughs> <laughs> you Make guys have scary. more fun with that out there, don't you? We do. We do. Yeah, I, I talked to some uh, friends of mine who visited the pumpkin patch and the corn maze last weekend, and they said there were thousands of people there. We, that was our busiest weekend of the year. Was it? Yeah, and it typically is. And, uh, so we've got, we've got one more weekend left for the pumpkin patch this coming weekend, okay. and we've got two weekends left for the haunted farm. So something kind of different with Halloween falling on a Friday night. We're going to be open Halloween night. And November 1st, Saturday night for the haunted house. In the Good. Morning. How fun. It's so cool. Hey, <laughs> I, it's, it's just, let's just, uh, the best part about the uh, haunted farm, it's got to be uh, shooting zombies with paintball. Yeah, um, I saw the guns on a the rack there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All so right. Do you see all this stuff that they brought in? This is yeah. what, yeah, this is what uh, uh, someone uh, you know, is, is going to be, a zombie is going to be wearing um, oh as a gosh. headpiece. And, and you can take them out huh, with the paint. That's right. That's right. Right. There's Good. 20 of these. There's 20 of these zombies running around in the field. Yeah. A chest piece. And you, yeah. And you're on a wagon, and you've got 100 balls comes with your admission um, of the wow. of the zombie, and you just get to unload, and then the, you you can buy more on the wagon as you want more. Just raise your hand, and we'll bring you more balls. <laughs> you were saying that that you'd set it up to mimic sort of a first person shooter. Yes, that's right. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. You're in that covered wagon, and you're just blowing them away. So that sounds great. You also have a maze, a uh, corn maze? We do have a haunted maze and right. a haunted barn. Yeah. What's, a, what's haunted about the barn? Uh, it takes you 25 to 30 minutes through there, and it's, it's haunted from start to end. Oh, wow. Um, wow. And, and the okay. maze, the corn maze will take you 25 to 30 minutes to get through. Um, you know, they ask, what, what, is, what is more scary? And I said, well, are you scared of being in the corn at night? Like, yeah, but then, then the maze is probably more scary. <laughs> uh, so they're both equally scary in my opinion, but uh, hmm? I think it depends if you're scared of corn or being in the corn at night. So somebody may want to know where you guys are located and how you find this place. We're in Moriarty, 35 yeah. miles east of Albuquerque on I-40, exit 196, and then you have to come back to the west a mile and a half. There's signs and everything. There is. Mm -hmm. And we shouldn't just focus on the Halloween stuff. The, the, what's open for the next week, the farm itself is just an awesome, it's, it's like a country Disneyland for kids here. Um, you know, they can go out, literally we spent three hours out there, we could have spent another three. Yeah. Um, admissions, cheap, um, and there's so much to do. What, what can you do there? From giant slides to pedal carts, um, bouncers, we have inflatable, something called a jumping pillow, and it's a 40 by 60 inflatable that's tucked into the ground. Uh, it's the only one in the state. Um, you can get 30 to 40 people on it at one time, bouncing. Um. That sounds more like my speed. That sounds okay. fun. <laughs> okay, yeah. That I could do. No, it's fun. It's, it's a great place for adults and kids. Um, great place to go to and it's, day. And it's a working farm, too. Yeah, yeah. It's great to teach kids where food comes from and the Absolutely. whole um, 
agricultural life. We have field trips in the morning, so this morning we're, we'll have thousands of school kids out there um, yeah. taking part in, in a working farm. And it is neat to see the kids to correlate working farm to your grocery store, your produce, your, your pumpkins that you get. Mm -hmm. Sure, um, are coming directly from this farm. It's amazing because some kids, if they live in big cities, don't really get to see that anymore. So it's great that you take all the kids out there and show them exactly it what is. you're saying. It is. Hmm? And you guys have developed a lot, I we feel have. like, over the years. I remember, I think I was there a couple years ago, and you didn't have, you know, even close to what you have now. You have so much going on our there. Crowds and, our crowds have allowed us to, to keep investing back into the farm and and, we're, and that's what we're doing. We're investing all of our profits back into the farm and it's showing. Now, how did all this get started? Did it start with the pumpkins and... It started with the school kids, yeah. field trip. I had, uh -huh. a, had a teacher friend from church that said, I want, to bring my, I want to bring my students out. And at the time, we were wholesaling pumpkins. And I was, paying, I was paying employees to load pumpkins on semis to go to Walmart. And they came out and they brought me a Ziploc baggie full of money. And they picked a pumpkin and I... I said, hey, I said, hey, I know which way we're going with this. So, <laughs> and it's just grown since then. That's right. And you keep adding more stuff. <laughs> we're in our 16th year. This that's is our wonderful. Our 16th year. And, uh, well, it's become a do not miss event each fall yeah, out there. Appreciate it. Yeah. Appreciate it. We work fun. hard at it and we do our best, but we are full time farmers. And yeah. second, we're, <laughs> we're entertainers. Yeah. yeah, and you're in showbiz. <laughs> there you go. Howie, what else is on the Halloween uh, Yelp calendar? Well, Albuquerque is stocked with Halloween fun for kids, for adults, haunted houses, whatever. I will name off about 10 of these places. Um, the Chemo has a haunted theater tour, so there's a ghost at the Chemo. Uh, oh, cool. The, the, the kid's name was Bar Bobby Darnell. He was killed when a water heater exploded in 1951. And it, there's, it's rumored that his ghost haunts the place. They actually have oh. a special, uh, in the back of the theater, they have a, a, a shrine to him um, that's nationally known. So they're going to be doing tours of this on Halloween, and then they're going to have a Nightmare on Elm Street. They're going to play a Nightmare on Elm Street. There's also, okay, so we've got McCall's. We've got the Zoo Boo at the zoo. Albuquerque, or ABQ Boo is uh, in Taylor Ranch. It's a free tour with the original Batmobile. Um, yes. Dragons of House Horror at Expo New Mexico, um, Ghost Tours of Old Town, uh, Quarantine, which you guys I think yeah, we had just them had them, yeah. yesterday. Um, New Mexico Slaughterhouse is not too far uh, away from here, and it's a uh, freaky sort of like if you want to go to a house. B B movie haunted house horror movie. <laughs> Um, you're going to be walking through this. I already did this last week. It was fun and scary. Um, Realm of Darkness at Cottonwood Mall. And finally, Warehouse 508 has the Haunted Scarecrow. So there's tons of stuff for you to do out there. Cool. Wow. And can we find this whole list of yours on... You can find almost everything yeah. on, that I talked about here on Yelp. Go to the events page. You can also just go to the search bar, uh, just enter Halloween in the search bar, and you're going to find things like McCall's um, pop-up as, as search results, so or uh, search for costumes, search for you know anything related to Halloween. Um, you're going to find some great stuff on the site. How oh, fun! This I love is Halloween. Good. I do too. It's a fun holiday. Oh, wish I did. <laughs> <laughs> I work most. Well, he was telling me that his wife came up with the concept for the the haunted farm and that video, that storyline. That video is great. It, it is terrific, and that's that's. I won't lie. She's, she's creative. She's the creative one. <laughs> um, you get to do the grunt I'm work. I'm the grunt work. <laughs> but the neat thing is the McCall family has been doing this for years. And, you know, there's, they're all in. And uh, I love it. And uh, invite everybody to your place is Appreciate it. quite an undertaking. Yeah. And, uh, and you're to be commended. Thank you. And you can get some sleep in November. Yeah, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, guys, thanks. This is uh, the best. Thanks. Enjoyed it. Thanks, Thanks for, for us up. getting, you know, kind of scary. Yelp. <laughs> Yelp. Yelp. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for having Thanks, the whole guys. McCall family. Look, uh, a lot of good fun here on the Morning Brew for Halloween. Uh, we'll be back in a moment with more.